Now then, people, and welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. And it's time for your Leeds versus Chelsea pre-match chat. Um, I feel a little bit sombre. Um, I don't quite know what Leeds I'm going to expect. Um, I'm worried about what the rest of the season holds. Am I subconsciously resigned to the fact that we potentially are going to be playing championship football next season? My whole hope attitude, positivity has just been sapped out of me after the Arsenal game. I can only speak my truth. Before we get into the video, please like it, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in and of course hit that notification bell. Why do I feel like how I feel? Well, as you know from the end of my Arsenal post-match, I have no optimism under, uh, you know, the current regime, you know, that, that includes the owners, Jesse Marsh, the players on the pitch after what Luke did, you know, Luke Kalin. I've seen a lot in my comments on about like, oh, it showed passion and that. No, no, it's not acceptable to do what he's done. I do love him. I do love him. And I won't write off what he's done. Some will, and that's fine as well, because I understand it. Because you put the club in a very, very precarious position. Let's not forget, we don't have a recognised right back. We don't have a recognised right back. And the bloody coach is talking about playing our best attacking outlet, Rafinha, there. Do you know what I mean? So Luke's done that. Luke Ayling's done that. So let's not do that, you know. Um, the mental gymnastics I'm seeing as well by some fans who 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 maybe may have called for Bielsa to leave and are now looking at ways as to as to find a way how it's not Jesse's fault. Like, let's not forget that we have seen three years of coaching ability being able to prove a squad. And not for one second, not for one second saying that the quality of the squad is Premier League quality. I remember getting battered in my comments when I used to say and verbalise the fact that let's not forget this is a Champions League, a Championship, Champions League, I wish, this is a Championship squad playing in the Premier League. And people would say, stop saying that. That's disrespectful. They finished ninth. Now, all of a sudden, it's a fluke. It's a fluke that we finished ninth. Bielsa's is not worth anything. And, you know, it's not Jesse's fault. The, you know, the squad's not good enough. I hear that. But let's not pretend you can't coach a coherent um, plan out of a squad to go and get a game and win a game of football. Yeah? And we're not getting that right now. You know? We're not getting that. You know? And, and I'm worried about this game as well. I was positive. I was positive after Man City and we got beat 4-0. But there was a plan there for me. It looked like, okay, you know, we're, we're, we're putting five at the back. We're going to try to catch them on the counter. Right? We still lost 4-0. We still lost 4-0. What really flummoxed me is going to Arsenal away and still, you know, and switching it back, you know, 4-2-3-1, whatever it was, you know, um, really strange. And let's not forget in that game, you know, I've had people telling me that, 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 that. Um, it's okay because we only got beat 2-1 and we were down to 10 men. And, uh, you know, Arsenal's a tough place to go. No, no, because we're at a stage in the season where we need to get results and, and at least create chances. People say, well, we almost nicked it. Yeah, but we got battered. Let's not let's not kid ourselves. We had three chances created in that whole game. And guess what they all came from? Set pieces. As I mentioned to you before with the Rafinha taking long throws, are we now Burnley? Are people accepting this? Okay, I understand you want to stay in the division, but we're not even doing that. So what's being served up for me is even worse because it's not acceptable because you're not even getting results. You're not even doing anything. Arsenal was the lowest chances created all season that we've had. Out of the 12 games this season where we have created the fewest amount of chances, five of them have come under Jesse Marsh, you know? Um, people want to say, oh, well, we, we, we went on a good run against Norwich and Watford. Everyone beats them. Everyone beats them. And look in the manner with which we had to beat Norwich, by the way. It was amazing scenes. I get it. But let's not forget that. And let's not forget Wolves were battering us and we went down to 10 men, you know? Has there been a good performance under Jesse Marsh yet? Let's not forget that Villa result. Let's not forget that Villa result because that was bad, you know. And I understand pragmatism. I understand pragmatism. But you've got to you've got to have something going the other way. And is attack not the best form of defence? That's what we've seen. That's what we've seen. You know, and people are liken to the fact that we're being killed in games. Yeah, we Bielsa's last game against Spurs. Battered. Okay, battered 4 0. We still had 20, 20 attempts at goal and hit the woodwork a couple of times. Even when we got beat by Man United 4-2, there were 16 attempts on goal, six of them coming on target. And even at home against Arsenal, where we got battered, again, eight attempts, one on target. 
We and I know. Listen, I'm not a stats guy. I try to 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 take in information so it can prove my knowledge. But you know, I'm 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 all passion. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm all vibes. You could argue. But we have been xg'd, xg'd against in all our last five games, and that includes Watford, man. When we won three 0 we were still garbage. So don't let that shroud your judgment. Don't let that shroud your judgment. And, I, and again, I say this because I'm concerned going into these games because we need to get something. I'm not for one second saying that that we can't. We can't because we can. And I hope we can because I want Leeds United to stay in the division. I can't deal with relegation. I'm sorry. People talk about reset and all that. Mm, I don't want that. Let's not have 16 years of, 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 of wait, three years under an absolute genius, come up, play amazing football, okay, if you feel it was right or wrong decision, but then let's not turn it up and just go down playing like how we're playing. Playing like how we're playing. Because for me, it's just not it. You know, it's just not it. As I say, pragmatism is fine. But you've still got to create, because guess what? We're still losing games. We're still losing games of football. And again, you know, Press conference today, Jesse Marsh. You know, he, he's taking it from all angles. You know, Jack Harrison spoke after the game about, oh, you know, we 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 getting quotes from Gandhi and all that stuff. It is what it is. I don't mind that. Do 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 what you see fit. Maybe, you know, let's not let's not speak so much. I mentioned that before. Let's not be out in the press so much. But he was he was asked anyway about that. And he's oh we Mamid Ali. Uh, Michael Jordan, etc., is what it is. That's, eh, I'm not too concerned about that. I'm not too concerned about that. Um, what I am concerned about, though, from the press conference again, it, it, it zaps any confidence I have out of me because he's talking about playing our best attacking player as a right wing back, and people want to try and defend it and say, "Oh, maybe he's 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 trying to." you know, throw Spanner in the works so Tommy Tuchel thinks that he's going to play in there. He played in there. Let's not forget this. People are saying on Twitter and all, uh, wherever, saying, oh, D Dan James is a right wing back. That looked like a viable option. We could have... I told you that. Like, I told you that. And I'm, I know nothing. Fans of this football club could tell you that Dan James is probably a better right wing back than what Rafinha is. Yet, Jesse persisted to play Rafinha there. He even persisted to play him in the second half when he was on a yellow card up against Martinelli, who was torturing folk. Do you know what I mean? And he's still considering that as an option. Please do not play our best attacking outlet as a right wing back. Don't do it. We need to score goals. Now, let me say Rafinha's form of late has not been great. Rafinha's form has not been great. But let's not kid ourselves. If we didn't have him this season, we'd already be relegated. Yeah. And look, he's had just two goal involvements in, 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 in the last 10 games. One goal, one assist. But he's not going to improve on that if he's playing at right wing back. Do you know what I mean? Jesse Marsh spoke about Shackleton there. I, I think it'd be wrong to throw Shackleton in. I do. I'd play Dan James there. I would play Dan James there. Because I don't have enough Dan J confidence in Dan James in the final third. I'm sorry. Pace, so much. But we need quality. We need someone who can find the back of the net. Rafinha can do that. Please don't let me see on the right of the three behind whoever's playing up front, James there and, and Rafinha at right wing back. Come on now, please. Um, it, it, it's just not working. Do you know what I mean? He's also mentioned the centre-back being considered there. We've seen Robin Cock play there uh, against Arsenal. That stage as he was found upfield a few times, couldn't cross a ball to save his life. Please don't play Robin Cock there either. Please don't do that. Because um, that's not going to work. I would like us to... to to go with that back five, uh, five, two, three, one. I mean, I, I would uh, certainly like to see, hopefully, Liam Cooper's in that back three as well. Um, you know, because what, again, what I didn't understand under Jesse in that previous uh, game against Arsenal, why you persisted to play two right footers uh, at centre-back. Lorente was found wanting for the Inketia goal. Playcock, you know, you've got Pascal Strout there, left foot would play him. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully, Liam Co Cooper comes back in. We have Cooper, we have Lorente, we have uh, Cock in there. Um, because because we, we do need him back because you know he's he's a presence. Um, he he commands the the team, gets us organised. Um, I just hope and pray that Liam Cooper does make the 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 side 
And, you know, Jesse hopes that he'll be available. One player that's not going to be available is Patrick Bamford. Um, he should be in training by the end of the week. We need him, man. We need him. Maybe let's not rush him for Chelsea. I understand that. But we need him for Brighton on, on Sunday. Because let's not forget, the mad thing is, prior prior to to um, Burnley on Sunday, we'll have, we'll have had a game on them. We've had a game on them. We need to put the pressure on. We need to put the pressure on. And whatever Jesse does, just please get something from the game. Please get something from the game. And don't put us at a disadvantage by playing players in the wrong positions. And people will say to me, yeah, oh, well, Biazzi, I hear that, I hear that. But, you know, maybe I can see the light more because I'm not in love, you know, oh, okay, I'm doing all this for Biazzi. It is what it is. I, I fell in love with the guy. You know, you tell me to get over it, you get over it. I'm going to always mention him. Do you know what I mean? But, you know... He never played our best attacking outlet at right back, is what I'm saying, yeah? There's no defending that. Doesn't make sense. I need to get over that, but it is what it is. The guy's still considering it as an option. But hopefully, as I say, Liam Cooper plays. In terms of a lineup for me, Melian in goal. Right wing back, Dan James. The back three, Cock, Cooper, Lorente, or Cock, Lorente, Cooper, yeah? Left wing back's going to have to be Junior Furpo. Double pivot, click, not working there. Doesn't suit the system, you know? We're seeing, and again, I've always been a massive advocate of Mateus Click, but we are seeing now, without that magic sprinkle of Bielsa, players, you know, maybe not having that same shine. He is one of them. Keeps bringing him off. Save yourself a substitution, Jesse. Don't play him there. You've got to play Lewis Bate. You've got to play Lewis Bate. Him and Calvin, they look good, right? They look good when he changed to a three behind there. But look, I still think Calvin's lacking in this system. It is what it is. But if you're going to go with a double pivot, go with Bate, go with go with Calvin. You do it. You know, throw caution to the wind. Throw caution to the wind. We're in a dogfight. Let's mix it up. Let's mix it up. Then the three behind the striker, Rafinha, got to start on the right. Let's let's play with some width. Harrison on the left. Dan James played in a 10 against Arsenal. No, right back, as I say. Or if you're not going to play him at right back and play Shackleton or whatever, don't start him. Put Rodrigo in the 10. Leading the line, Joffy. Joffy felt sorry for him against Arsenal. Never got a sniff. The plan wasn't there in place. And of course, we went down to 10 men. Let's not throw him out. Keep him there. Keep him there. Same with Bate. We've got to trust these young players, you know? Because if we do go down, it'll be them that'll be featuring next season because there'll be a massive overhaul of this squad. So that would be my 11. Let me know if you agree, disagree. But for me, Bate, Joffy, get them in there. Now, in terms of the opposition, obviously, it's an old rival in Chelsea. Chelsea, I, look, they're not in great form themselves, OK? They have just one win in five games, right? They have an FA Cup final coming up on Saturday. They're going to field a weakened side, 100%. You know, Sal Niguez come, might come in. Malang Sar, Ziyech, Lukaku will probably start, which does worry me because he did score two at the weekend. But I'd rather him start than than uh, a Timo Werner, and I know people might find that mad. But you know, Lukaku's form this season has not been great. Timo Werner has actually done well against teams that play with a similar sort of system than than we do. You just have to look to his goals return against Southampton. It's where he he does well. So let's let's hope that Lukaku does start, which might seem him a bit of a madness. But listen, the thing is with Chelsea, everything T to green is good. But when they get in that final third, they they're poor. They're poor. Do you know what I mean? So I do think we can see where we can contain Chelsea. OK, they might create a lot of chances, but will they, will, will they finish, them, finish them? I'm not I'm not too sure. Look, I do think there will be goals in this game because there's been more than 2.5 goals in six of our last eight games. Chelsea haven't had a clean sheet in three. I do think we will score, you know. Um, but look, history is not on our side. Chelsea have no losses in seven in this fixture. Um, but we have to get something. The minimum is a point. Give me a point. You know, Leeds 1-1, Leeds 2-1. I'll take it by hook or by crook. I lambast Jesse's system because it's there to be lambasted. It's my opinion. But if we shit out someone, all, I don't care because I just want to stay in the division and then let's assess where we're going. Then, like people say me, give the guy time, bring in players, etc. Okay, I'll do that. But I just want to stay in the division. And I don't think at this moment Jesse is giving us the best chance of that because the system and the way he is putting the players on the pitch is not giving their best capabilities. And therefore, we're losing games with a whimper. You know what I mean? That's why I'm so um, vitriolic or judgmental towards him at this moment in time. If he keeps us up, amazing, we move, he gets his own players, then I can judge him properly like everyone keeps telling me. But at the minute, I don't think he's giving us the best chances to win game. How can you be when you're playing your best player, a right wing back?
You know, I keep coming back to it. But every man and his dog can tell you that that's not a thing you do. Every man and his dog can tell you you don't put your best player on throw-ins. Don't, don't defend that, people, because it's indefensible for me. It's indefensible for me. Um, but again, that's just my opinion. That is just my opinion. But Leeds have to get something from this game. OK, we're not expected to, but it is the perfect time to play Chelsea. You are at home. You have all the fans behind you. Yeah, we'll continue to support. Yeah, they've just won one in five games. They're going to be changes. They have an FA Cup final, a chance at silverware, a chance for Tommy Tuckle to say, actually, it was a successful season. Because if they don't win it, it's been gash. You know what I mean? They will make a hatfuls of changes. Leeds United have the bit between their teeth. Chelsea just want this season to end when it comes to a league position perspective. You know, people will say, oh, but Arsenal... No, Chelsea will get third. Trust me. But we need to pile the pressure on Burnley. If we get something from this game, it'd be amazing. The thing is, I can't tell you whether or not I believe we will because I don't know what the plan is going to be. I don't know if we'll create chances. I don't because I've not seen it up until this point under Jesse... I just hope and pray because that's where we're at. We're in the hoping and praying stage. You know what I mean? I will be doing a watch along on the channel. Please join me for it. Hopefully Leeds can get something one all to one. Honestly, please. Imagine a win going into Brighton at home. Because this is the thing. Brighton and Brentford, they'll want to get results against Leeds United. Trust me. Trust me. We'll have Ivan Tony talking about mind the gap. Silly that was. Silly. Because it's too early. You've shot, you've shot your load early, bro. Do you know what I mean? You need to be careful with that um, because there's still a long way to go. You know, Burnley, us and Burnley, isn't it? It's us and Burnley. You know, Everton are done now. I said they beat Leicester. They've got home games against Palace, you know, against Brentford. They're winning them. Everton will look back and laugh. But we're in it with Burnley. We have to get something against Chelsea. We must get something. Even if we don't, OK, it's not done. But imagine the pressure that puts on Burnley. You've got to go to Spurs Got to go to Spurs. Just got to hope and pray Spurs get something on Thursday in this London derby. So that's the top four. He's still alive for them. Do you know what I mean? And then we can play Brighton. Imagine having an advantage over Burnley, knowing they've got Spurs and we've got to play Brighton. So come on, Leeds United. Backs against the wall. Please get a result. Jesse, pick the best 11 in the right positions. Play with some width. Let them go back to what they know. Okay. Let them go back to what they know when they're going forward, at least until we get to the end of the season. Then do whatever you want. Playing straight lines in central space, I don't care. But let's just stay in the division. And we do that by using the players to their best capabilities. Our best players are wingers. Use them. Do you know what I mean? Use them. Let's not train them out of them being able to pass the ball because they've been able to do it before. I just, please, please, hopefully, Leeds United can get something at home against Chelsea and we can move into that game against Brighton. Imagine the scenes. Please, man. Hoping and praying. Thank you for watching the channel. Um, like the video if you can. Subscribe to the channel. Get your comments in. And uh, I'm going to see you in a bit. And I'll see you tomorrow evening for the for the watch along. Uh, Leeds United 1-1 or 2-1. Come on, we can do this, please, man. Peace out. Leeds, Leeds.